Yo, what's going on, ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today, we are once again back on Modern Warfare, and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the new Muck and Meyer Model 680 Blueprint. Uh, this is a blueprint available in the new Season 3 Battle Pass, and it's a pretty decent one. If you guys take a look at the stats that come with the original blueprint, you guys will see that we get a really nice boost to accuracy, range, and control here. We only lose a small amount of damage and mobility, which obviously isn't going to be that big of a deal uh, because it doesn't really make a difference. But overall, like I said, a pretty decent class setup. However, we can make this thing a little bit better by buffing those stats. So if you guys take a look at the stats for the class setup that I'm going to share with you in this video, you guys will see that we get a much better boost to that accuracy range control, making this just an overall much better class setup. We also get a small boost to fire rate, which is obviously really nice to have uh, with a shotgun. You're playing super aggressive, being able to reload quicker and having that fire rate boost will make a big difference. Uh, we still we still end up losing that really, really small amount of damage and mobility, but again, not, not enough to make a difference. Different. So pretty good class setup. Hopefully you guys will be able to do really well with this thing. So if you guys take a look at the attachments, we're not going to be using a muzzle. The barrel that we're using is the XRK 18.0 Liberator. So this is the uh, same barrel that comes with the original blueprint. You'll see that we get damage range as well as tighter pellet spread as pros. And we get a really nice boost to accuracy and range. So again, the XRK 18.0 Liberator barrel. The laser that we're using is the 5MW laser. I love running a laser on a shotgun because generally most of the time uh, when you're running around, you're going to hip fire people. So having that 5MW will give us hip fire accuracy as well as sprint to fire speed as pros, giving us a really nice boost to accuracy and mobility. So again, the 5MW laser. We're not going to be using an optic. I don't think it's necessary with the shotgun. Again, most of the time we're going to be hip firing. So uh, I'd rather save that, that optic slot and use it somewhere else. So the stock that we're going to be using is the FTAC Hunter. I believe this is the same uh, that was used in the original blueprint. Maybe it was a Stalker 12 that was used in the original. But nonetheless, with this, we're going to get aiming stability. So this is going to give us a nice boost to accuracy and control. Again, this is an attachment that's only really going to help you out if you're aiming down sight. Uh, so, you know, if you're not going to aim down sight a, light or, uh, sight a lot or you're just going to hip fire with this thing, it's probably not necessary, but uh, it's always good to have just in case. So the FTAC Hunter. The underbrow that we're using is the Commando Foregrip. So we're using the Commando Foregrip for recoil stabilization as well as aiming stability. With this, we're getting a really nice boost to accuracy, range, and control. Uh, Commando Foregrip is always a really good attachment to run on pretty much any weapon in the game. So we're going to stick to that. We're not running any extra ammunition or slug rounds. I really don't want to hurt the stats too much with this thing. And most of the time with a lot of these uh, extra ammunition attachments that you can run, uh, it ends up really hurting your accuracy or your range. So I want to stay away from that. And last but not least, the perk that we're going to be using is sleight of hand. So that's what's obviously going to give us that fire rate boost and uh, and really help us to be a little bit quicker. Generally, you're going to be mobile when using a shotgun. So if you're running around in the spawn and you know take a lot of shots at somebody, it'll be nice to be able to reload a lot faster and get back into that fight. But uh, I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific class setup. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video.